Peter from the upcoming. So lovely to meet you. Um, so tell us what can fans expect from Sex Education Season 2? Um, they can expect Otis to have got over his sexual block in some spectacular fashion. Um, Hello, my friend. Sorry. Um, they can expect more complicated romantic entanglements, uh, love triangles become love squares, um, and yeah, just more slightly heightened, slightly more archaic um, sexual misadventures. So more the same, but better. And what do you think it is about this series that's really captured people's imaginations? It seems like people were crying out for something that actually showed something about the reality of sex rather than sort of this glossy Hollywood version we normally see. Yeah, I think it's exactly what you just said, which is, you, we didn't know it when we were making it, but I think it was a show that people were waiting for without knowing it. Um, and we've had a lot of people tell us that they, people my age and older, that they wish they'd had a show like this when they were younger. I think it's just a really timely and important voice that Laurie's found that's connecting with a lot of people and not just the people that are the same age as the characters, but just the universal sort of trials of school and first love and stuff like that. I think it's just, it's just found a really nice moment. What a phenomenal cast, not least Gillian Anderson, Nasa Butterfield, you know, how is it like working with all these people on set? Um, yeah, a dream. It was, it, I think because it sort of spans, it's quite a deep ensemble. And so the, the um, experience ranges from sort of incredible, I won't use any words I shouldn't, but veterans like Gillian, who's like one of the, just the best around. And then a large amount of total newcomers who's just graduated from drama school or who've been found by Lauren, our casting director, whose first time it was on set. And it all sort of leveled out where they helped each other get to a, an amazing level of, um, of sort of naturalistic but really impressive performance. There are some like awkward, embarrassing scenes. You know, what have been some of the most challenging moments, do you think? Um, yeah, I mean, there's no getting away from the sex scenes are probably the most awkward ones for those involved. And I think that goes, this is very easy for me to say, but it is, it's, a, it's always an odd thing for the crew as well as the cast. Um, but yeah, I'd say in series one, shooty, um, giving blowjobs to the bananas was probably up there. There's stuff that beats that this time. The opening few minutes of the first episode are an absolute marathon of masturbation that Asa Butterfield just excels at, which um, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say that yet, but um, yeah, there's a lot of wanking this year. That seems to be our new thing. One of the main things the taboos it seems to break is like definitely like female sexuality and the idea that women masturbate and you know and people of different ages getting involved in sex. So do you think that was also something that's very important? Yeah, I think it was. And I think you, uh, Again, without sort of meaningfully, like you didn't have breakfast together and say, well, let's break some boundaries today. You, you realise you were doing very small, very quiet, new things that were breaking ground with what you were showing in terms of um, like female sexuality and female masturbation and stuff. We just did some stuff that to us on set seemed absolutely fine and obvious. And then when they went out and they got seen, it's, it just, I think, just struck a chord that nobody's really done that before. Do you think streaming services like Netflix are really opening up the kinds of things we can do with TV in contrast to film? Sort of play around with these more quirky ideas that you might not necessarily see in, it, see in a movie. Yeah, I think Netflix have been so, from the day one, just been so supportive about pushing for the boldest and the most honest and the most entertaining version of the show. So they never wanted us to shy away from it. They never looked at something and said, that's too much or that's too far. They were just with us all the way and encouraging it. Amazing. Thank you so much for your time. Lovely to meet you. Thank you so much.